There's a nice built-in feature of OBS that a lot of people don't know how to use, and that is how to make a countdown for your starting scene. I'm gonna show you how to do that in OBS Studio, and it also works in Streamlabs OBS or any other version of OBS that's out there. So let's go ahead and get into the tutorial. All right, so now let's go ahead and add the countdown timer to our start scene. So the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do, go down to the bottom of your source list, select the plus sign. We're gonna to wanna to select a text, parentheses GDI plus source. And what we'll do is we will rename this to countdown. So you'll know what it is. All right, so we have countdown there. Now, for right now, we're not gonna mess with the property, so just hit the okay. And now we'll go, go to the top here to your menus and select tools. Scroll down to scripts, select scripts. Now make sure the scripts tab is highlighted blue. Go to the plus sign, click on the plus to add a script. Now these are all scripts that are that come preloaded with OBS. So you shouldn't have to download these. These are already built in. So now what you're gonna to wanna to do is select the countdown.lua and you're gonna open that. Now you should have some options to change, you know, the duration for instance, which I'm gonna change from five, which is the default to two. And then I am going to change the final text to let's go. And then I am going to select the text source, which is the countdown. And all your text sources will be listed here. Make sure you select the one that you want to go to for the countdown. So here is my countdown and it automatically starts running there on the start scene. And you can now customize it to the way you want it. So, uh, you know, you can select the font. For instance, I'm going to make this Montserrat. That's what I've used for mine. So Montserrat, hit OK. And now you can go in and say, maybe if you want to change the color, I will go and select the Regiment Red to make it the color of Regiment Red. And now you have a countdown timer that you, you know, have customized. And you could even go even further and you could add other filters to it. For instance, I have stream effects. So if I go to filters and I add uh, all, the, all these different filters are part of stream effects. So the SDF effects, for instance, is part of that. And from here I can go and I can add a shadow to it, for instance and you can customize it as you can see you can change different properties of it to just give it some extra depth and customization so there you go there is your countdown that you now have built in to your start scene uh, so you know again this is all built into obs studio it's just a matter of setting it up so I, and it's pretty simple to do all right, and then it gives an extra layer of customization to your live stream that a lot of people do use. Uh, countdown timers are very helpful and let your viewers know when you're going to go live. So I hope this video helped you out, everyone. And if you did, please hit the like because it does help me out, helps my channel greatly. And if you enjoyed this type of tutorial, then make sure you hit the subscribe because that's what this channel is all about. It teaches you how to do these things inside of OBS. Other than that, guys, I appreciate your support. Leave some comments below. Let me know how you enjoyed the video and if it helped you out. Again, make sure you hit the like. Other than that, be safe out there, everyone. Have a great weekend, and we'll see you later.